Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Aldo1125 and today I'm going to show you how you can install standalone Rage Plugin Nook plugins. So this video is actually going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous episodes yet, I recommend checking those out because we are going to start off right where we left off at episode 2. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our GTA 5 uh, directories. So this is the GTA 5 directory where we installed LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook in episode 1. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you have renamed this back to Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, which is explained in episode 2. So make sure the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is actually the folder that we created in episode 1. Now the first thing you may wonder about is how can I distinguish between standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugins and other plugin types? Now the answer is quite simple. Now I've just gone over to the download page of a standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugin and you can't really see by the download page that this is a standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugin, at least not for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to click download this file and we're going to download it over into our GTA 5 mods folder that we created earlier. So we are now in the downloads folder GTA 5 mods plugin. Uh, we are going to download it over in the plugins folder because that is what this modification is, it is a plugin. Uh, and it's going to download and we're going to go over to our GTA 5 mods folder, plugins and we're going to open the archive. So we're going to extract the archive using WinRAR this time. Uh, we're going to extract it to this directory. There we go. So here we have GTA comes alive. And once you actually go into this folder, you're going to see quite a few files usually. There is always going to be a readme and there is always going to be a directory that contains all the uh, files that the modification uses. So the first way you can identify you are dealing with a standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugin is by checking out the readme. So as you can see here it has some general information, requirements uh, and then the installation. So the installation uh, says simply copy the contents of the files folder to your G root GTA directory. You can then load GTA comes alive by opening the Rage console default F4 and typing load plugin GTA comes alive .dll. Now this part is very very uh, telling on what kind of plugin you are dealing with. So by seeing this part, having to load the Rage console and typing load plugin GTA comes alive .dll, we can know that this is a standalone Rage plugin plugin. So what that means is that all standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugins must be loaded via the Rage console. Another way we can see we are dealing with a standalone Rage Plugin Hook plugin is by going into the files. And as we can see here, we've got a few files here. We've got Darkmire API.dll. This actually isn't the modification GTA comes alive. It is just a helper library for it. And that can usually be identified because the name of the file doesn't actually correspond to the name of the modification itself. So that's how you know, oh, this is going to probably be a helper library. And if we go into the plugins folder, we see that we get quite a few files and folders. Um, one of them is going to be GTA comes alive.dll. So if a DLL file is located inside a plugins folder, just the plugins folder, not plugins LSPDFR, but plugins, then we know, okay, we are dealing with a standalone Rage plugin and plugin. Now a very easy way to install most modifications is by simply following the readme. Simply copy the contents of the files folder to your root GTA directory. So most modifications already have all of their files structured exactly as you should. So usually it is just a case of simply uh, clicking Ctrl A, so you select all the files, then selecting copy, just like that, or pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard, and then going over to your own Grand Theft Auto 5 folder over there and right clicking and selecting paste or pressing ctrl v on your keyboard and then if you are asked you should always choose to replace all files in the destination and as you can see right now the files that we just copied are highlighted in blue so we have dogmire api.dll in our gta5 folder and then inside of our plugins folder we have gta comes alive .dll. and you see that this dll is still right only inside our plugins folder it is not inside our plugins slash lspdfr folder this is still empty now if you actually paid attention to what i said you might have concluded that we have actually already installed a standalone rage plugin plugin in one of the previous episodes and that is the lspd first response .dll plugin which we also had to load by typing load plugin LSPD first response .dll into the console and in addition to that it is also located inside our GTA 5 slash plugins folder right over there. 
So LSPD Films Response is also a standalone uh, Rage Plugin Nook plugin. So now that we have successfully completed every single step inside the readme.txt file, we can go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and actually start playing with the standalone Rage Plugin Nook plugin. So what we do is, just like before, we double click the Rage Plugin Nook.exe and it's probably going to say that Rage Plugin Oak found certain files were blocked. And that is because, of course, we just added new files and they're still blocked. So, yes, we do want Rage Plugin Oak to unblock these files. Uh, otherwise, it might not work. So make sure you always click yes. And what you can now do is you can click the settings icon on the Rage Plugin Oak splash screen, right over there as I just did it. And as you can see in my taskbar right now, a Rage Plugin Oak settings window will pop up. Now you may remember last time we were inside this tab in episode 1, we chose not to load any plugins on startup. However, once you start getting a lot of plugins, it's probably going to become a lot of work to type the load plugin command inside the F4 console every time when you're in-game. So that is why you can easily select one of these options, either load all plugins on startup or load these plugins on startup, and then you can select individually which plugins you want to load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that LSPD first response loads automatically when starting the game up and I'm going to leave GTA comes alive unselected so that I can load that manually when I want to. So what that means is once we get into the game LSPD first response will now automatically be loaded and you won't have to type the load plugin LSPD first response command into the console anymore. So once you are done making all your choices here of course you can also select this if you wanted to uh, that's up to you but once you are done you click save and launch. And we will now load into the game and I will show you exactly how to load a standalone Rage Plugin Oak plugin that is not LSPD First Response or DLL and that is also not loaded automatically upon startup. So as you can see we are now inside the loading screen and because we selected LSPD First Response to automatically be loaded on startup, there you go, it's going to say loaded plugin LSPD First Response right inside the loading screen. So that is basically equal to a load plugin LSPD First Response or DLL command inside the in-game. Uh, Rage Plugin Nook F4 console. So once we load into game, right now, you will see that once we open the F4 console, we will see that LSPD First Response is already running. So there we go, we didn't actually have to type it in ourselves. Um, once we want to unload LSPD First Response, we can of course still type unload plugin LSPD First Response, that is not a problem at all. And then it's going to be unloaded. So you can still unload plugins even if you load them automatically upon startup. So now that we've seen how automatically loading plugins on startup works, we will now check how to load plugins that we did not load automatically upon startup. So that is done again by using the load plugin uh, command, which you can auto complete by using the tab key on your keyboard. And then you could say now it's also detecting that we have GTA comes alive.dll installed inside our GTA 5 slash plugins folder. So that is going to pop up in this list. So if we want to load that plugin, we simply select that and press tab, just like that, and we press enter. As you can see, it's now loading the plugin from the path, and it says plugin GTA comes alive was loaded from GTA comes alive .dll, and it's going to be working. So GTA comes alive in particular is a plugin that generates ambient events in the background, so it's not really going to do anything right at this time. Actually, it is. Look at that. It's going to spawn a clown right over there. So we now know that it is definitely running. Uh, he might actually attack me. So if we want to unload the plugin again, we can of course do that in exactly the same way as we did with OSBD First Response. We can do that by typing the unload plugin command and then tabbing on GTA if comes alive .dll and it'll be unloaded without any problems at all. And that just about covers everything there is to know about installing standalone Rage Plugin Oak plugins, everyone. So make sure, as a general rule of advice, to always read the included README with a modification, because a modification might require some additional installation steps than what we have done here. That depends on the modification. But installing standalone Rage Plugin Oak plugins is always done like this as a base. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content, please consider subscribing as well. I will also be doing videos on how to install different types of plugins, like Scripto plugins and LSPDFR plugins in later videos. And they will all be included in the Learn GTA 5 modding Albo's Way playlist. So make sure to check that out if you haven't done that. Uh, a link will be on the screen right now, which you can click in the form of a card. And with that being said, everyone, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next video.